I need an image counselor <laughs> and not you. Why? Because you're not How certified. To another beautiful day at the beach house. I don't feel very good today. I was going to do absolutely like nothing. Like I wanted to do just nothing. I wanted to ask you guys permission. Can I just do nothing? Can I do nothing today? <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh, I feel so much better now. Actually, I was gonna do nothing and then I was like, let me just blow dry my hair and get warm because I was cold. And then I was like, well, let me just do a little makeup. And then I did. And now I feel so much better. And it always, always amazes me just how much of a difference it makes when I get ready for the day. Like all of a sudden I can accomplish so much more. Like the sky's the limit just because I put on my makeup today. <laughs> <laughs> That's always how I feel. Ellie's taking a nap. Charlie is hopefully gonna be taking a nap soon, and then I can start getting a few things done. Yeah. There we go. So, do you guys want to know what I do during nap time? Well, it's happening again. I'm starting to feel congested and not very well anymore. Again, the congestion is not that bad. It's really not. I really don't feel that bad, but I can tell that it's starting to come on and I don't want to aggravate it by exerting myself physically and then wake up tomorrow morning feeling super, super sick. So I'm kind of like, I hope I don't get sick again because I can't, I can't keep getting sick all the time. And I don't know why I keep getting this sickness and it might be because the air pollution here is bad. I don't know, but I took all that medicine that the doctor gave me and it's not gone for good. So also it could be this beard. I really, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like it could be the beard. Like maybe the beard is like a, I don't know, that's gross. I don't want to talk about that, but maybe it's like bacteria grows. And it's like around my nose and my mouth. And I know like when you're trying not to get sick, it says don't touch your eyes and your ears and your mouth and your nose or whatever. Like don't touch it because that's how germs spread. Maybe there are like germs like living in the beard. I don't know. I don't know. It's gross. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I just don't want to be sick anymore. I have too many things that I need to do. What do you think? Should I shave? Should I do it? I really love your beard. Why? I don't even know. I don't even know what. You're handsome. <laughs> <laughs> <A -choo. laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you're so you're funny. Something from your beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really like it? I don't I know do why. Like I don't know why. It's you your like hands and your hands. You just. You look so manly. And Is it because it cover covers up my double chin? Is that why you no. like it? <laughs> it's a benefit, I'm sure, but you look great. But you know what? Mm. You'll look good without it. With or without it, you'll look good. Yeah. I do like it though. Thank you. <laughs> well, I suppose we can test it out. Like, I kind of- Do the Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Just test it out. I don't know. You have to test it out. No, that's yeah, not, no, that's yeah, not you what have I to test it out. You have to. And I'll get you a top hat. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> here, 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 here. Mm, I'm getting tired. Oh. <sighs> squish our baby. What? Are you calling me back? <laughs> no. I did, boy. Have you guys <laughs> ever heard of people getting sick because of their beard is an you infestation of germs and disease? Well, this is a weird thought. Maybe I. One time. When I worked at, uh, as a cashier, when I was a teenager, there was this guy who came in, didn't have good hygiene, and he had a beard. But that's all I was thinking about. <laughs> but it popped into my head. Alright, I think that settles it. I think I'm gonna cut it all off. No, wait, Maybe I need a haircut too. Wait, Go back to the wait. way I used to look. 
Then I get to pick your haircut. You can trust me. No. <laughs> Why don't you trust me? Because I'm trying to make you look mm -hmm. like Abraham Lincoln. He wasn't bald. So you don't have to worry about that. It's time to say goodbye to Mr. Beard. <laughs> hey. What? We sh should change your whole style. I need an image counselor. <laughs> and not you. What? Because you're not How certified. Rude. I need an image counselor and it can't be him. <laughs> okay. You're not certified. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. Eh? Uh, <laughs> you're married to me. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's a good ring. You like it still? Mm -hmm. You know how I measured it? Oh. I went to the store and I tried it on this finger. Hey, look, they match. Those are our wedding rings. Focus. Nope. It's like, where's the face? <laughs> we only like faces. Focus right here. Oh, well. Anyways, I tried the first <clears throat> finger and that's how I knew it was the right size. Alright, I guess it's time to watch shows and go to bed. Yes! My favorite time of night. I love you. I love you too. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Pause, Pause the, the game. game. What are you guys doing in here? What are you doing?